I'm Anil Kumar, sharing with you questions from the previous test paper. The whole idea is to learn from these questions so that you do far better, right? We are given the function f of x equals to minus 2, 2 plus x times x minus 5. We have to state the zeros, find axis of symmetry, and find vertex. You can pause the video, answer the question. It seems to be a very straightforward question. Finding zeros is simple, right? Factored form, x is its average value of two x-intercepts. But the key here is find the vertex. Now we will see how to find the vertex for the given equation. So let's begin with zeros. Okay, so the first part is zeros. Zeros is a point where the value of the function f of x is equal to zero, right? So we will equate this equation to zero and find the value of x. So we have minus 2 times 2 plus x times x minus 5. Clearly, this function will be 0 when 2 plus x equals to 0 or x minus 5 equals to 0. That gives you x equals to minus 2 and that gives you x equals to plus 5. Correct? So we have two zeros here. So we have two zeros and these are at x equals to minus 2 and x equals to 5, right? So we are done part A, right? So this is part A for us. And part B is to find axis of symmetry. Now, how to find axis of symmetry? Axis of symmetry will go midway between the two zeros. So axis of symmetry, let's say x, is equals to average values. That is minus 2 plus 5 divided by 2, that is 3 over 2, correct? So 3 over 2 is the axis of symmetry, right? So we got zeros and axis of symmetry, and now what we need to find is the vertex. What I have observed um, in most of the test papers, one common mistake. I should not say a mistake, but uh, not the best way of finding the vertex. Equation given to us is minus 2, 2 plus x, times x minus 5. Now to find vertex, students may expand this and then do completing the squares to find vertex. Now that takes a whole page, right? And takes time. In a test, that is very valuable. Save time. When you have axis of symmetry, you can easily find the vertex, right? Let me sketch this function and then we'll find the axis of symmetry also. So here's a very rough sketch, as I normally do. Uh, what we have here is uh, f of x equals to minus means it opens downwards. And two zeros, one is at minus two, the other one is at five. And so, so approximately, this graph is going to be kind of like this, right? So it is going to be something like this, okay. Where we are sure about two points, which is this is minus two and this point is five. We are not sure about anything else, right? And we are also sure about the the axis of symmetry which we just found, right? Which is here, correct? That is the axis of symmetry, and the equation of this is x equals to three over two, or you can say one point five, whatever. So this point is one point five. Okay. Where is the vertex? Vertex is on the axis of symmetry. Therefore. We already know the x value of the vertex. To find the y value, we have to basically find the value of the function at, you can say 3 over 2, is it okay? That gives you the y value, is it okay? So vertex basically for us is 3 over 2 and the value of the function at 3 over 2. So that is what I want to make you understand. So you can now pause the video find the vertex and then check with my solution. So let's find the value of the vertex, which is f3 over 2. Uh, you could also write 1.5 and use the calculator. No problems, right? So we could do minus 2, 2 plus 3 over 2 times 3 over 2 minus 5. And that gives you minus 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 plus 3 is 7. So we get 7 over 2. Here we get 2 times 5 as minus 10. And so we have minus 7 over 2, right? So when you multiply this, one of the 2's cancel, minus minus becomes plus. So we have 49 over 
2 as the value, correct? So 49 over 2, or well, it is 0.5 less than 50, right? So we could also write this as 20, 25, I mean half of 50 is half 25, so it is 24.5, you could use this value. So we have vertex is at 1.5, if I want to write this in decimals, okay, and the y value is 24.5, okay. So that's an easy way of finding the vertex, so the y value here is 24.5, okay. Rather than doing completing the squares and all that, right, if given in factored form, you should find vertex by first finding the axis of symmetry, right, and then the vertex, correct? By substituting the value of x, which you have already found. Is that okay? That is the gist of the whole video. I am Anil Kumar, and I hope you understand and appreciate this concept. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you, and all the best.